In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the We're city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Boom. There was smoke everywhere. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. Emergency vehicles are... It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. In international news, an explosion rocked Gotham City earlier today. We are now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is... If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a cold black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Never trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye.
Hi, I'm Patrick Redding, Creative Director on Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Valkyrie, Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized at the top. Definitely We're going to look at a short that. clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. All units at Elliott Center. Air support inbound. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? Freeze has All recently right. returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash Freeze the city. We need a way to get through that ice. An important goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player co-op. he wants a fight, he'll get it. We need a tank to get through that one, guys! Robins learned how to access the Justice League satellite for short-range teleportation. How are we supposed to stop ice guns? Meanwhile, Batgirl has mastered some more familiar techniques. and developed a few new ones of her own. Montoya here. Heard you're down there having some fun. Fun's one word for it. Just a heads up, that chopper's under orders to fire on anything that moves inside. The Gotham City Police. Drop your weapons or we will open fire. The storm is getting worse. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. This doesn't look up to code. If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Tours were still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. You know how cold it is up there, right? You want a guy to expose or be my guest? <laughs> This will only take a second. Time to take the elevator. You'd rather take the stairs? These cables on the floor. Guaranteed they lead to freeze. Belfry. 
status. Countless dead, and the temperature's still falling. We need to stop this. Now. Belfry wasn't kidding about this storm. Almost there. Disruptors in place. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off. Trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it! We'll see about that. You cannot run from me! important element of Gotham Knights is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace. So confronting a villain like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or at level 15. And not just in terms of stats, but in the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring to bear. And that was just a short peek at Gotham Knights. We're going to have more to show you in the future. After months of teases and speculation, we finally got our first look at WB Montreal's mysterious Court of Owls game. And, well, it's much different than anyone else could have ever expected. Batman's dead, the Bat Family has assembled, and the Court of Owls lurk in the shadows. Heading to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC in 2021, here's Gotham Knights Explained. Now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is... The trailer opens with a breaking news report detailing an explosion with Bruce Wayne's body being discovered. While at first this seems like a direct continuation from the finale of 2015's Arkham Knight, not all is as it seems. A lone figure appears in the alley to decrypt the message titled Code Black. And it's none other than Jason Todd, sporting scars from his fatal encounter with Joker, but seemingly missing the branded J he had in Arkham Knight. He's also got a bit of a white hair streak, which seems to throw back to his appearance in the iconic Batman Hush comic. In a pre-recorded message, Batman explains that the message has been sent automatically following the destruction of the Batcave, suggesting that the explosion was triggered by his own hands. The scene shifts to each member of the Bat family, including Barbara Gordon, standing next to a wheelchair in her clock tower hideout. This seems to indicate that although she was immobilized for a time, Barbara has recovered to become Batgirl once more. The final nail in the coffin of the Arkhamverse comes from this next line, that the GCPD can't be trusted ever since the death of Commissioner Jim Gordon. These events never happened in Arkham Knight, which points to Gotham Knights taking place in alternate timelines, something that's actually been confirmed to Kotaku Editor-in-Chief Steven Totillo by WB Games PR. As the scene shifts to show both Dick Grayson and his signature blue Eskrima sticks, and the much younger Tim Drake with his Robin costume visible in the foreground, Batman mentions leaving the group the Belfry as a new base of operations. Not to be confused with Oracle's clock tower hideout, the Belfry is a reference to a secret headquarters built inside the old Wayne Tower. In the comics, Tim Drake was the one who helped build the secret facility, but Batman's message suggests that the place is fairly outdated and unused, which may hint at the ability to upgrade its capabilities as the game progresses. As the titular Gotham Knights suit up, we get a good look at each of their new costumes. Red Hood appears to have ditched his brown coat for bulky body armor with the red bat symbol at the front and has his signature twin pistols equipped. Tim Drake's costume looks like he may have some inspiration from Damian Wayne's Robin outfit, but we also see in the gameplay trailer that the Red Robin outfit is also an option, hinting at the possibility we'll see a lot more costume designs. 
Batgirl's light purple outfit looks very reminiscent of her New 52 look, but the addition of the new Tomfa weapons implies every character in this game will have some form of combat weapon to utilize. Finally, Dick Grayson is sporting his signature Nightwing look with the blue symbol and highlights. As Robin accesses the map of Gotham City, it's worth noting that since this game doesn't take place in the Arkhamverse, Gotham City may look similar in style to Arkham Knight, but its layout seems to be wholly different. We also later see what looks like the trap-filled puzzle rooms that the Riddler has been so fond of in the Arkham games, but it's not yet confirmed who owns these deadly corridors. Most importantly, Batgirl and Nightwing approach a long-forgotten underground ruin, walking towards what looks to be two large statues of owls. That's right, the Court of Owls are indeed making an appearance in Gotham Knights, but we have been told that the mystery in Gotham Knights is way bigger than the Court of Owls. No one talks about them, not a whisper word is said. For if you try to crush them, the town strikes you dead. The trailer concludes with the infamous nursery rhyme passed down through Gotham's history, heralding the cabal known as the Court of Owls, a secretive society of Gotham's elite who use reanimated assassins known as the Talons to do their dirty work. The scenes of rows upon rows of frozen coffins seems to indicate that the Gotham Knights will have a lot of talents to contend with. The inclusion of the Court of Owls seems to indicate that they may have had a hand in Bruce Wayne's untimely death, as their comic storyline began with the attempted assassination of Bruce. But whether this means Batman faked his death or not remains to be seen. While Batman did indeed utilize the Gotham Knights and even others like the Birds of Prey to help fight off the Court of Owls, it's unclear how much of the story will translate over to Gotham Knights, given Batman's absence in this version. In addition to getting our first look at where the story is heading in Gotham Knights, we also got more than 7 minutes of raw gameplay that gave us some tantalizing details. First things first, the multiplayer seems to be drop in drop out, as evidenced by Robin suddenly dropping into the game while Batgirl was riding through Gotham City. One really important thing to note here is that not only does your character have a level based progression, but enemies do too, which indicates that you're going to be able to see how prepared you are for a certain mission based on your level compared to the enemies. Not only that, but we also saw some damage numbers pop up, indicating that there may be a deeper gear system that hasn't been present in the series prior to this. Aside from that though, the combat and the stealth action split seem very familiar to prior Arkham games. We got to see two characters in action in Batgirl and Robin, and while their overall gameplay looked pretty similar, they did utilize two unique weapons along with a few different skills. One other item to note is the purple bar underneath the health meter that seems to be tied to special abilities. There were a number of abilities used by Batgirl which required meter. One caused a bunch of bats to fly out and distract enemies, another was this leaping kick that seemed to lead to a big combo that utterly wrecked this poor soul, and another had her throwing some sort of weapon that would home in on an enemy and deal multiple hits. We didn't get to see much of Robin, but he's got his own weapon in his bow staff, and according to Patrick Redding, creative director of Gotham Knights, he can also access the Justice League satellite, giving him the ability to use a short range teleport and, apparently, the ability to rain fire down from the heavens. The fight against Mr. Freeze also showcased a couple of other interesting tidbits. First off, status ailments. Batgirl threw a bunch of projectiles at Freeze at the start of the fight that inflicted some sort of status ailment indicated by this lightning bolt icon, and right after, Freeze hits Batgirl with an AoE attack that causes some sort of frost ailment. We also see some different color damage numbers, potentially indicating that Mr. Freeze is weak to some sort of gear that Batgirl has equipped, since the damage numbers were red and much higher than the other damage numbers. One thing that was mentioned in the developer commentary is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace, so confronting an enemy like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or level 15, and not just in terms of stats, but also in terms of the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring. All of this seems to point towards Gotham Knights leaning in a much more RPG driven direction than previous games. A couple of things that were missing from the gameplay demo that have been intrinsic to the series in the past, a combo meter tied to your ability to use special moves in combat, and ground takedowns that would be used to finish off an opponent that has been knocked to the ground. In any case, we're getting something familiar but very, very different in Gotham Knights. We'll see how this all plays out when it finally comes out sometime next year. Thanks for watching and for more Gotham Knights and everything else DC fandom, keep it here on IGN.